Hello, this is Everton Fan 77, and today um, I'm doing another real life football video. In the in the past, uh, I've got some really good responses and some interesting responses from these like basically uh, transfer talk saga videos, and it's really interesting to get your uh, your responses. Um, but if you're wondering where's the FIFA gameplay, I have been absolutely really stretched for time uh, I, over this weekend. I've been playing a lot of football in real life. And I've also got some exams coming up and I really need to study for as well. So that's what I've been really busy and I haven't actually had the time to put together some quality FIFA content. If it was, I'd be, it'd be really rushed and it wouldn't be a good job. And I really want to make quality, quality content for you guys. And uh, over the next few weeks, because I have my exams, um, my time for my uh, upload, oh, my FIFA gameplay uh, uploads will be limited uh, compared to what they normally are. So I'm just basically apologizing for this in advance if you're wondering where the FIFA gameplay is. But that will be back uh, in a few weeks to uh, regular uploads. And there will be a lot of FIFA 14 pre-hype. I have got a lot planned. I think I'm going to start it in about late July, early August. I'm going to start my pre-FIFA 14 stuff. And it's going to be intense. So look forward for that. But anyway, moving on to today's video. What will happen to Neymar? So today it was confirmed that um, Santos have rejected the bid uh, for Sa Santos have rejected uh, Barcelona's bid for Neymar. Uh, it's it's quite interesting to see that um, ne ne Santos and Barcelona were in talks over Neymar, but um, Santos have rejected the offer because it simply just was not good enough, and they are expecting Real Madrid to offer, and then that would be that would cause a bidding war between uh, two arch rivals in Barcelona and Real Madrid, and El Clasico bid off for Neymar. It would basically it'd, it'd be a lot of money at stake there, and Santos could get a really good deal out of it. So let's to, let's first talk, talk through his first option. So Barcelona um, with David Villa, pretty much he's very close to um, his move, very close to signing a deal at. Tottenham, uh, even though it's not really confirmed yet, it is it is expected that it will happen. Uh, that would free up a left wing role, uh, even though Iniesta can play up there sometimes, and then you have Pedro and San Alexis Sanchez on the bench. Um, I would free up a position for Neymar because if Barcelona will sign, if, if they sign, spend a lot of money on signing a player, they will want to play him a lot. And really, when you got the quality of Iniesta, who is a much better central midfielder than a left winger. Um, that would be, that would basically feel uh, I'm not really not sure how to uh, describe it, but um, that would feel uh, not really pressured, but they would, they'd want to play uh, Neymar in his favorite position, and then and they wouldn't want to play Iniesta out of his best position. So you you'll have your three central midfielders, whether it be Busquets, Iniesta, Xavi, uh, Fabregas, Iniesta, Xavi. Uh, yeah, just basically um, a mix between those four that I've mentioned as well. Um, if it's a mix between those four, you can play Iniesta in a central midfield role, and that would free up the left wing position for Neymar. Uh, Neymar also can play striker and, and a centre forward as well, but with Messi there, uh, that's not looking likely at all because uh, really Messi is pretty much irreplaceable in the centre of the park, uh, in the centre in the centre forward position. And then at right wing, it will be an interesting battle between Sanchez and Pedro um, while Neymar is there, if David Villa leaves, that is. And yeah, so basically that's the Barcelona option. It's looking quite interesting. He would get a fair amount of game time if he joins Barcelona. And yeah, it would be quite interesting if he joins there. Now moving on to the second club, round oh, Barcelona's arch rivals, Real Madrid and El Clasico, uh, a bit off as I mentioned before. Now, um, at Barcelona, I'm expecting him to play a left wing, and at Real Madrid, this is not the case because you have, um, in my opinion, the best player in the world. It's obviously between Ronaldo and Messi, but I think Ronaldo is a more complete player. They play different roles. I'm not going to start the whole debate, um, but in my opinion, Ronaldo is a more complete player, and that is why I, I rate him higher than Messi. But yeah, with Ronaldo at left wing, Neymar still wouldn't uh, get the, he still wouldn't uh, overtake Ronaldo for that first team position or not at least for a few years uh, in that left wing role, unless Ronaldo has a shocker of a season, which is unlikely because he's very consistent. And then um, with Benzema and Higuain, we don't know what's going to happen between those two, whether they'll leave, whether one will leave, whether both, whether they will both stay. The two talented strikers up front, um, and it would be interesting to see whether Neymar gets some game time in that striker position. Um, he's much younger than Benzema and Higuain. Benzema and Higuain are approaching the peak of their careers as well. And if Real Madrid um, can produce a player of Neymar's quality to be a better player than those two, uh, they'd obviously want to play 
Neymar up, up front in that striker role because Neymar is pretty much there with Benzema and Higuain. We just haven't seen him uh, perform at the European stage, which is stopping him from being a better player, but being a better player than those two. Um, and yeah, it'll be really inter interesting to see how he plays in Europe, but I'll talk about that a bit later on. And then um, I've, I've, I've pretty much mentioned about the strike role and the left wing role. And then you could, maybe you could say, yeah, you can shuffle him out wide to the right midfield role. Uh, Angel Di Maria, a super player, and I'm not sure whether Neymar will actually be able to overtake Di Maria. Di Maria has proven himself in Europe, and that is something Neymar hasn't done. Um, and yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see what will happen if he joins Real Madrid, because there's uh, they have a much more all-round team, I guess, than Barcelona. Uh, I guess you could say that... Um, that's, uh, uh, particularly in the front third, uh, they've got like more star quality up front. I'm not going to try and start a Real Madrid versus Barcelona debate here. I'm not saying Real Madrid's a better team than Barcelona. I'm just saying they're probably a bit more, bit more of an all-round team. Barcelona probably has the stronger midfield, uh, but Real Madrid, uh, on paper, definitely has a stronger front three. Um, when that provided David Villa goes, and I'm not including Neymar in the picture. Um, but yeah, that's basically my opinion as well. So please don't hate me for that comment. And yeah, it's going to be interesting to see whether Neymar will break into that front three. Now, talking about, um, as I said before, uh, so I'll get to this later on. And here it is, uh, Neymar in Europe. Uh, Neymar has played uh, for Brazil a few times, uh, more than a few times actually, against European teams. And to be honest, I have not been impressed, uh, not, not been overly impressed with how he played. Watching him against England, Gary Cahill destroyed him. Like, Gary Cahill, he's your av oh, he's better than your average uh, EPL defender, but um, he's certainly, he's a world-class centre-back, but he's certainly not in that world elite top five, which is what you have to be playing against in the latter stages of the Champions League, which you're expected to perform in. And yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if Neymar can actually perform over in Europe, because um, his skill is, is his... His, his skill is his main attribute. He's very skillful. He's very quick as well, but it's his it's, it's insane um, ball control and dribbling and and his trickery as well. And the defenders in the Champions League are far better uh, than in Brazil. I'm, I'm not trying to make like a comment about the quality of play, but um, mo most of the defenders are at the peak of their career, maybe a bit later than that. And they've been playing in the, in the world's um, most competitive leagues and basically, the average standard is better than in Brazil. Um, but that's not to say there's there's no good defenders in Brazil because that's not the case. Uh, I'm not trying to make that comment at all. But um, the average standard of defense is higher over in Europe, and um, Neymar's dribbling ability uh, won't be as effective as in Brazil. But uh, it's, it's it's my opinion as well. So please don't get mad at me for that comment either. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much uh, Neymar in Europe. It'll be interesting to see how he plays. I'm not quite so sure. Other clubs which he could potentially go to, uh, there's not many other who would be able to put in a strong enough bid and a club that Neymar would want to join. Uh, maybe in the APL, probably only Man City and Chelsea would have the funds to uh, go out uh, for Neymar and be able to buy other players as well. But I don't think Neymar would want to join any of them. He actually did express interest in playing for Chelsea a few years ago, but Chelsea, um, they're still in a rebuilding phase, trying to build a great team again after losing the likes of uh, Joe Cole, Michael Ballack, all those players. Um, and yeah, they're still in a rebuilding phase, so I can't see Neymar going to there. Uh, there's some quality Bundesliga teams as well, but I think Neymar's main interest is joining uh, either Real Madrid or Barcelona. So it's going to be really interesting to see uh, which club he joins. If he stays at Santos as well, that may be quite likely as well. Heading into the World Cup 2014, um, staying in Brazil wouldn't be so bad until after the World Cup as well. So this is just my opinion. Leave a comment with what your opinions are over the uh, what's going to happen to Neymar in the future. But this has been Everton Fan 77. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a like and I'll be back. Hopefully with some more FIFA content soon. See ya.